Hi, this is not a game dev vlog. In my first video, I want to show you a game I'm working on. It's called Auto Food Fight as a working title. It's uh, inspired by a game I love called Super Auto Pets, which is an auto battler uh, with fun short battles. Um, let's just dive in the game and I'll explain um, uh, as we go along. Uh, here we see our avatar, we're a bear with 8 health, uh, max health 8, and uh, one important mechanic is we have 6 appetite. Uh, 6 appetite means that if our health go, goes below 6, uh, we start eating foods, and if it's 6 or above, we throw foods at the enemy. This is all in an auto battle uh, fashion. Uh, this is our current... Uh, status or mood which is empty which is the default because we have no foods in our basket yet and we have zero points um, we now we find four foods basically of which we can pick one uh, all the foods have different abilities and a uh, attack stat in this case one and a heal stat also one but here is a three one and here is a one two so when we eat it we heal for one or for the health amount and when we attack we do damage for the attack amount and then we have the different abilities that trigger on different uh, uh, triggers <laughs> and uh, have, have certain effects. So for now I'll just pick the uh, uh, banana because I know so now we see that we are in aggro mode because we have 8 health. We start by throwing and the banana is a good attacking uh, food, but it also does self damage. Um, we get to pick another food, um, which I will choose the watermelon, uh, which is uh, a healing food, which also damages. It's kind of the opposites of the banana. And in some cases we are already in uh, wounded status. And then as the third food, I will choose a double because that has, um, has advantages later on. So I will think I'll go for the watermelon again. Uh, here we see the next opponent, which is subject to change because I'm not sure if I like it, um, because that almost forces you to plan ahead when I enjoy uh, the surprise of Super Auto Pets. But for now, it's also just a bit of testing. The, the opponents, by the way, are uh, from a database. So, there are previous uh, battles uh, who are on the same turn, which I like a lot because that means you always have a fair chance because you just had exact same opportunities. Um, let's go to the fight, which will um, uh, roll out automatically. You see that the enemy is now wounded, so it has to heal. Um, but it summons the Kiwi, so we lose. Um, so the, the fights are resolved based on the amount of actual health left. That's the only thing that matters. So either it's a draw or a loss or a win. Um, so we are a loser, so we get zero points. Um, and uh, we get an L card. And you can get, if you have four of these cards, then, then your, the run is over. L-O-S-T for lost. Um, also important to note, the health is persistent between the, the fights. So now we go back to the shop and, and we already have an interesting choice because we can eat in the shop as well by clicking on them and then we can heal. So we start out aggressive, which normally it's not worth it. But if you have a banana in the front slot, I think it's worth it. But of course you have food less. So if we're going to do that anyway, uh, let's do a two health food um, and let's see what comes uh comes up next uh, maybe go for a banana and go for a watermelon and eat the strawberry so now we see we start to fight aggro with seven out of eight which i think will hopefully give us a lot better chance to win against the next player all these players are bears too but just for fun i gave them a little character <laughs> So we are very aggressive, but we cannot quite get them to zero yet. So they will probably have a lot of time to heal back up. So if they're at zero, the fight is immediately over. Then you get a KO and knockout. Um, but now you see, uh, it's, I had a great tempo, but in the end, I just had two little foods. So 
that that's a strat, uh, but it failed. So we're on our second loss. And we also will face teams who have a bad start as well, uh, if they're available in the, in the database. So not, not the greatest uh, start, but now uh, we can heal back up and we'll, we can show another mechanic where we uh, eat the watermelon and we start upgrading all other water, watermelons. If we have eaten three, this will have a plus sign and it'll all future and current watermelons will become uh, a watermelon plus, which has one, one more stat, so it will become two, three. And also the ability will be uh, stronger, which will do two damage to the enemy in this case. And normally it just adds one to, um, uh, to, the, to the abilities. So now we don't get uh, that something that interesting, but I will take the orange. And the orange is an interesting example because we cannot choose the order of our team. Everything we uh, pick always gets added to the end of the basket and the fight triggers from left to right, as you've seen. Um, but the orange allows us to manipulate it. So if in, later on we find a strong uh, food item that we want to get to the front, we can eat the orange in shop. And also in battle, it can have interesting uh, um, opportunities. Now we get another banana to try to upgrade to banana plus, which does less damage to itself, uh, obviously, because otherwise it would be a very, very bad thing. And now, uh, yeah, I think I'll eat one banana and hopefully uh, scrape out a draw or, or a win with, with lemon, but I'm not too hopeful. But we'll see. So the blueberry we see copies our stats, but because it's plus, it copies it plus one. So that's difficult. But we start uh, sniping back with eating watermelons, which allows the counter. Um, hmm, I don't think... We are quite strong enough because they have a 1-1, one, one. they will eat, we will eat, and they will eat. So it's a draw. Um, the animations aren't that clear yet. I, I try to do it a little bit to see if everything's working. But of course, a game like this depends a lot on, on understanding what's going on. So it's not perfect, to, to, uh, to say the least. But um, it's good to know that the turns are simultaneously, basically, so, so every time... Uh, one, um, yeah, I have to decide a name for that one. It's not the whole, we have a fight, so one turn, uh, both front foods are uh, calculated both based on the status, so either get thrown or eaten. Throwing goes before eating, but if both throw, they'll throw simultaneously uh, and trigger the effects. And the effects, um, if they're also on the same uh, turn, they'll trigger randomly because the order can can matter in sometimes, but th this is something that might be improved later. Um, so now we draw, we get finally get our first point, and the goal is to get to 25 points, then, then we win, win the run, basically. And maybe we can come back. So now we see our first uh, second tier food, which has a, has a purple background, and they're stronger. And hopefully I can show you soon that there are also uh, status and, and, uh, and, and and stat changing foods that by eating can change the stat of our avatar and increase health, for example. For now, I think uh, one, two, three, I can uh, get the banana. Um, and now we are at a, a plus, banana plus, and we're at eight, eight health. And here we see the hot dog. So I can eat the hot dog and that will increase our appetite, which means uh, we start healing at seven, which uh, can be a benefit and a downside. It, it helps a lot if you also have the higher max health, of course. Of course. Um, but we'll take it anyway. And then um, I'm going to reroll. And you can reroll, but it ta you take one damage, triggering sometimes also the effects of the food. So you can actually roll yourself KO. Uh, not a good strategy, obviously. Um, okay. So this one modifies our status, which yeah, is, is a bit uh, useless right now, but I don't see a much better food as well. So I'm not too happy with the squad. I think I'll take the apple or the cheese because the cheese at least next round gives me one free reroll. Um, and I can look at the 
squad, but like the uh, like super auto pads, it's that's what one thing I enjoy as well. You cannot see in one few who has the better team uh, because all the abilities change so much. Even if you're more experienced, sometimes with the last two or three pets, and in this type case, foods, you can see it, but um, it's always uh, a surprise. And, and if the animations are nice, it's just fun to watch the, the, the fights play out. So for now, I'll just take the um, cheese and uh, pray, basically. But we, we face another two loss, one point team, so they can't be too strong. And uh, Watermelon do their work of trying to counter the momentum of attacking and uh, and defending. So we are healed up to aggro, but they are as well. Um, I think it's very close, but yeah. So they will attack, so that's useless. So that, that's our lucky way to draw there. If they if they were uh, one less health the, the, the turn before, they would have actually won. Um, now we have a free roll um, and we have some fun fo foods, new food. So fries is quite strong currently because uh, it deletes stats and with the orange I can uh, get it to the front. So I think I will take that uh, in place of the watermelon uh, and then go to the next turn. I haven't, have I? Oh, I don't see, maybe that's a bug. I don't see the free reroll uh, actually. Not sure what's happening there. Um, by the way, you can play the game. I, I will link it in the in the comments, and it will be a lot of fun uh, for me to see uh, what other people think uh, because it's in an early alpha status. But I did some play testing, and we've been to some iterations already. So I I now eaten the the fries to the front basically, um, which has the downside of maybe using the banana as a as a defense as an as an as a heel um, and I'll take another fries because maybe I can upgrade it um, which is the worst I think yeah I can roll because I, I, I will eat anyway and here we can uh, use the chicken leg to add to max health so I think I'll take that and either eat now which I think is good but it could make the difference in the wrong way so here we see the uh, fries triggering, uh, removing stats from all enemy foods. Um, ooh, but we're all just KO'd, so I hopefully at least we're not KO'd uh, yet, but it will be hard to win, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that was a small bug as well, I think. I ate the, the, the wrap removed, the burrito wrap removed my food, but it's still triggered. So there's some, uh, some small issues there. So now I'm a, a I'm I'm on on lethal basically, but but we plow a plow off. A falafel is a very good food to keep in the end of the squad. So I think I will take it. Um, um and I will eat the lemon, eat the watermelon to heal back up. And now the watermelon is a watermelon plus. And I will go for more health. And now also what's interesting about appetite, I have appetite seven and they have appetite six. So that can be an advantage because I will heal back up to seven. So if you're both end up just healing, 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 it could scrape out the win. Uh, don't know if that makes sense. They again have a very strong start, so uh, as we can see, the database is a little thin uh, because I get matched with somebody with 11 points already. So, um, but I might just stay alive and maybe even come back with the falafel because, as you see, it spawns a lot of uh, kiwi. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we come back and we even win. So so that's the power of the of the falafel. Um, so we eat the chicken leg, and now we eat the the rare items. There are currently I think three or four rare items which are very very strong. Uh, these give this one gives a negative status effect to the opponent, where if they uh, throw 
food at us, they will take self damage, so kind of uh, wounded, and it's called sore in this game because maybe they have uh, muscle soreness. I think I have to take this, but I also have to pray I find a, an orange basically to get it to the front. So I think I'll eat the fries. And here's another uh, rare item which gets stronger for every time you take it. But right now my weakness is I have a very weak start of the squad. So I might get KO too quickly to even get there. Uh, I think I will take the beer in any case. And I get another test tube, um, and I'm fighting a, a double, a double fries plus team, which will basically remove all stats. So that means I'm not going to eat the falafel right now, because those are summoned and they are not uh, removed by the fries, um, which I was contemplating. So it's good now, <laughs> at least for me, to give me another chance. Um, let me get some more uh, chicken leg, which I think I will eat to get some more max health, which I don't know if it's the correct strategy. I don't think so when I'm thinking about it. So you see they're removing basically all our stats, but we're reducing their stats as well. <coughs> and again, so now I attack for zero, zero. Uh, I attack again for zero, zero. So this is not a good sign, but we summon some uh, Kiwis and at least for a little bit, I add Hurt, so they start self-hurting. And now we're KO. So GG's. Oh, we're, yeah, we are, we are, sorry. Um, but GG, so it's not the best fight uh, right now, but, but that's at least a demonstration of what the game is. So again, the input point, the end goal will be to get to 25 points, um, which um, I, I did manage this guy, uh, which was probably me uh, in an earlier time, has 15 points. So maybe he's go going to get there with the strong double fries. Um, let me check. Yeah, so that that's basically a run through of the game so far. Uh, I hope it catches some of the things I like about, about Super Auto Pets, um, but in a different, fresh way. Um, of course, the, the, the art and the, the graphics and the layout and the animations are very much still in a prototype state. Um, but, but it does capture a bit of what I want to show in that it's just a fun, fun looking game and, and not too dark or scary or whatever. And, um, yeah, that's it. So I, I I'll leave the link in the in the description so you can maybe play or you uh, please if you you have any questions or want to see something else leave a comment. It's very um, fun for me to read read anything you you have to say, um, and you can leave feedback on the game uh, on the itch.io comments or or here. And if you want to follow this journey or support the channel. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, you know it. I never did, did it until uh, uh, about a year ago, and then I started just liking and subscribing channels that I like, which uh, actually made it a more fun for me as well, and started commenting and interacting, and it makes the whole platform nicer. So um, that, that, that helps. Um, let me check. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.